Hi, it's Lauren Lehan from SEOtoolsforyou.com and in this video I'm quite excited to present some information on how to look underneath the covers of your website pages. I'd like to just demonstrate the toolbar called the Developer's Toolbar. So we'll have a quick look at the toolbar here. It's the Web Developer Toolbar and it's just below the Alexa toolbar that I described in, in another video. This toolbar allows if you're a developer or if you're just interested in having a look at the underlying information in websites, if you're doing a bit of research and development and researching other people's websites to see how they do it, this is the resource that every developer should have on their Firefox browser. So first of all, we'll just go through the uh, various components of this toolbar. In under the cookies, you can actually go through and disable your cookies or clear the session cookies. So if you're testing out an offer, you, you often want to remove your session cookies for that testing operation. So this is provided under this button here, the cookies button. CSS, you can have a look at your various CSS. You can edit your CSS. So that's cascading style sheets. And just down here, you can go through the editor that they add on to the bottom of the page. Uh, turn that off. Form information, so if you want to display your form details, so you can see here this opt-in on my website, SEO Tools for You, is got the form information, so you can investigate that. Just turn that off. You can go through and see quite a bit of information. And this, don't forget, this is just not for your website. This is for if you're researching your competitor's website as well, so it's a very useful tool displaying images so you can display all the alt tabs and check to make sure all your images have the alt text so you can see all my alt text down here is, looks like it's filled in and as I did describe in another video there is a website grader tool that is very useful for finding any of the alt text that is missing on your images on your website so I'll just turn that off other things you can display the image dimensions which is often quite handy for if you're just going oh, I want to replace that banner image and I just can't remember what size is of course you can download it and do it that way but you can just turn on this tool it shows you the image dimensions and you can actually see the image path so you can see where that's actually stored so quite a bit of useful information here whole bunch of selections here for the, under the information button uh, let's see if we can you can look at the uh, display div order object information so it's probably worth your while just having a look through and just you know investigating it yourself once you download this tool now I'll show you where to get this tool uh, we'll just go through and see if there's anything else that's really uh, important you can show the comments outline the frames the headings so I just uh, have a look, you can outline the frames here. So it's just a really good resource just to investigate your website pages. If you're doing any advertising using traffic vents, you probably know that they resize their image to 800 by 600. So often you will find that it's very hard to figure out what size your page is without any of these tools turned on. So what I'll do is I'll just turn on this display window size and you can see a pop-up window comes here or you can do another option here display window size in the title so you can sort of instantly see the window size as you're resizing your page your browser page so you can see it resizing just up here but if you want to see what the traffic fence advertisement looks like 800 by 600 and you can see that that resizes your website page to 800 by 600 and you can then see if your landing page looks decent in that uh, size so just resize the window back to the original oh sorry I'll just drag it down okay looking at other tools you can validate your HTML so it's just going to through and and just validation on it, the HTML and these are often things that you can look at and just see if they're important enough to fix. I'm using a WordPress blog, so let's see. There's a few other things. Uh, validate the feed, so the RSS feed. 
and uh, validate all the links. So this is quite a useful button, the tools button. I can view the source. Let's go and find out how we get this toolbar. And it's a web developer 1.19. And if we and it's by Chris Pederick. And if we click on Chris's link, it takes us straight to the site. There he is, a picture of him right there. Chris uh, Chris Pederick, uh, dot com. And we want to look at the web developer. Download and you can download it for Firefox or Chrome, so he supports both platforms. You can also donate uh, some money to Chris uh, to uh, help him with his efforts. I find this an invaluable resource for doing anything with the internet and have it looking behind the scenes of your website and your website pages. So please have a look. Um, if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. I'm always interested in hearing from anyone that's watching the videos. And also visit my site, SEO Tools for You. Dot com and thank you very much for listening if you've got any suggestions please leave me a comment uh, or visit my youtube uh, channel as i've mentioned before many times seo tools for you that's y-o-u and we'll see you in in another video thanks very much for your time bye bye Thank you.